Uh, hello everyone. Um, I don't think you realize what a total pain it is to set this up, so I'm going to try and do explain the F major scale on the fretboard as a starting point. And it really is a total pain to set this up. That wasn't even the one I wanted to get rid of. Alright, so down there you have the notes of the F major scale. magnifying glass went. There. So it's F. G. fret A. So, first fret F, third fret G, fifth fret A. And that is your one, two, three, do, re, mi. And then you have your fourth note is your B flat. Flat. And your fifth note is your C. Sixth note is your D. Again, first fret, third fret, fifth fret. So, and bo on both strings, you're just playing the first, third, and fifth frets for your. Two notes are E and F. So the E is played on the second fret of the fret. And F is the third fret. That's your octave. So right there is just a pattern to memorize. That's your F major scale. It's just... So for now, you can just memorize that pattern, and I'll explain how it comes into play later. You notice on the bottom here we have the notes listed. 
F, G, A, B flat, C, D, E, and F. And here are the notes on the scale on the fretboard. On the low E string, you have your F, and you have G on the third fret, A on the fifth. B flat on the fifth string for the low A, first fret. C is the third fret. D is the fifth fret. Then on your fourth string or your D string, you have your E on the second fret and your F on the third. So just Memorize that for now. I'm going to it later. So that's your pattern. <laughs> don't bring your fa so la ti do. So if you notice in this what the notes are, there is this B flat, right? So that means if you're looking at sheet music and you see that there is one flat and it's on the B, you know, every good boy, the third, and the treble clef would be on the third line, um, that means it's the key of F because, as you can see here, the key of F has only one flat note, which is B flat, and would be on that B flat would be on that the key signature. So if you see one flat on the third line of the treble clef, that means it is the key of F major, and that's because the one flatted note is B B flat. So B, B flat. Okay. So how you how the scale works is you count these. These are this is the first note F, which is one. The second, which is uh, G. The third, which is F. Now, what's important about the third? is the third defines whether something is major or minor. So that's major. If I was to lower this F to a G sharp, it would be minor. That's minor. That would be F minor. But because it's raised, it's major. Major, minor. It's just where this third happens to fall, whether it falls there or there. Okay, so the same thing you go and you count, you know, this is your fourth note, which is your B flat, your fifth note is your C, and your sixth note is your D. So if you're talking about like a one, four, five progression, one is F, four is B flat, five is C. So one, four, five blues would be one, F, and four, uh, B flat, five, C, and then one, F. Okay? So now let's go to the sixth note, this D. What's important about the sixth note? The sixth note is also something called the relative minor. So in this case, D is the relative minor of F. And what that means is if you play the same scale starting from this D, you get the D natural minor scale. Those are the 
same notes in the F major scale, but starting with this D. And it's like an introduction to modes too, but so just know that if you're in F major but you start playing on the D, which is the sixth note, and you play the same notes, but you start with the D, you'll be playing D minor. That's why it's called the relative minor. And um, I think we'll quit at that for now and see how that goes.